Hey guys, I am Dylan John, and welcome to my channel where we cut out the fluff and jump straight into it. Let's say you want to smooth out your subject's skin a little bit, and you don't want to fork over the cash for an expensive plugin. Go down to your effects browser, go to your blur tab, or you can just type in Gaussian Blur and double click to apply. Then head up to your inspector window and go to the masking button on your Gaussian Blur effect. Click it and select Add Color Mask. And then from here, all you're going to do is drag and try and select as much of her skin as possible without selecting her eyes and the background. Now, this is going to be tricky. And oftentimes, you may not get a great selection. So if that's the case, you'll have to dial it back. So if you let go and release, and then you hit View Mask, you'll be able to see what you're selecting a little bit better. And then from here, you can go in if you need to and just tweak the HSL parameters a little bit more to try and fine tune the selection. Once again, try not to select her eyes. If possible, you only wanna select your subject skin. Then hit view mask, bring the amount all the way to maybe one or two, not too much. Subtlety is gonna be key here. And then from there, you can adjust the blur boost to add a little bit more of a faux skin smoothing feature. So now if we scrub through, her skin looks a little smoother. It's kind of glossed over, but her eyes are still sharp. Additionally, you can hop back into the effects browser, double click your sharpen effect and follow the same steps. So you can go to your add color mask button, but this time select her eyes. Hit view mask so you can see what you're doing and try and make as good of a selection on just their eyes as best as possible. This may not always be possible, but just get it as close as you can. And then from here, you can type in something low, maybe two. So now you have her eyes sharpened, which balances out that skin smoothing addition that you added. Now, of course, this doesn't always work, especially with changing light, but this is something that is free that you can do directly within Final Cut without having to purchase any extra plugins. And I know how much you guys love free stuff. The alternative, of course, is a plugin like Beauty Box, which I've talked about many times on my channel. It is just unfortunately way, way too expensive, but the results speak for themselves. Obviously, that's too much but you're able to dial back the smoothing a bunch. If that looks too fake and too smooth for you, you can add more contrast and remove some of the skin smoothing detail right there. So now it looks fairly natural. So if we turn this off and on, this is before, after, before, after. And then you can also hop down and add some more sharpening as well as removing some of the shine on their face, which is kind of a, a neat feature. But once again, I'm not pushing this on you. It is frankly a little bit too expensive. So you have the free option and you have an option if you want to fork out some cash. And I hope that one of those options makes you happy. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on my channel. I really do appreciate it. And my Final Cut Pro Color Grading Masterclass is dropping in two to three weeks time. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.